Okay, so shading. So I'm looking in this drawing to shade the whole page. I don't want any any areas of the, the page left unshaded. So I'm very quickly gonna put in a basic tone everywhere. So I'm doing the background. Now see at this point I'm working quite quickly. I wanna fill big areas, expensive areas with tone. Now what you can do with that, smooth it off with smudging. Looking over here as well. So I'm starting with the background, filling that with tone. Just see how quickly I've managed to fill that. It doesn't have to be detailed, but it does help if all the marks are going in the same direction. I'm going down the side. I'm looking at where, because if you remember, the light's coming from from up here. So I'm going for darker tones down this side. But then as I move across the bottle, those tones are going to get lighter. So I'm going really dark down there. And again, I'm working quickly, lots of energy. Now sometimes I want to do lines which describe the, the form of the object. It's a curved object. So we want to kind of show some marks which do that. Smudging. Get that smudging. And fill, fill the gaps with the smudging. Lots of dark areas up here. Get those in. Work quickly. Okay, now on this object, on the um, second object, it's, it's a kind of hexagonal kind of shape, possibly, I think, hexagonal, yeah. And then I'm looking which of these planes have the darkest tones, and I can tell by looking at it that down here it's very dark because the light can't get down there, and especially in here as well. So I'm just going to go dark in there. Now I'm going to leave this bit relatively light the top bit because I can tell the light is hitting the top part it's keeping it nice and light so I don't want to do too much shading up there okay but I might do a little bit of shading down the side here possibly around this side because this is the opposite side to where the light's coming from so I'm going to go a bit, a bit darker around there okay so I'm, I'm keeping that fairly light shadow on the table Now it's going to be really dark underneath here because the light just, just cannot reach down there. So we can get really dramatic dark shading down here. And because the light's coming from this direction, we're going to have a shadow cast in the opposite way. So again, I'm working really quickly, just getting that shadow in. And that can go, if you want, right to the edge of the page because you want to fill this page real quick, okay? But darker underneath, down here. Like so. Now the rest of the table will have some kind of tone, but I'm not going to go in too dark. I'm just going to go fairly light. Now you might notice that most of my shading is all going in the same direction. And it's really important that the shade does go in the same direction because that just gives a bit of consistency to your drawing. Okay, so I'll stop there. So what we have in a few minutes, didn't take too long, is a drawing which is showing tone, light. We've got objects which look solid. We can tell which objects are at the front. We can tell which objects are further away. We got a little bit of background there as well, okay? Now, over to you guys. I wanna see you trying the same thing at home, all right? You might wanna take a bit longer than I did, but if you, if you can get a few of those things into your drawing, that'll be amazing. Have a go. Cheers, see you later, bye.